Hello there, Eronar here, and today I want to show you the full unit variety in the Troy, and describe each unit role you are going to use uh, in battles. So, let's start with Frontline. Frontline is typical uh, defensive unit. Uh, you are going to use them to hold the line. I usually name them as hold line because there is a second kind of the front line which is uh, very offensive having much higher attack and I, I name this as a kill line. The difference is in battles is very big. Uh, the hold line guys are going to survive and grind for a long time while the, your kill, kill line is going to penetrate the enemy line and kill as many models as possible. So, as the front lines we have already two distinctions. Next unit role is uh, the flankers. Uh, the best flankers should have the flanking attack improve, uh, good speed and obviously you are going to around enemy line, bring them uh, close and after that you are going to sandwich your opponent uh, to, to grind them. There are also two kinds of flankers. Uh, this one with very low charge bonus is going to be used uh, for grinding just like you are going to use your kill line. This is also a good flanker and kill line, uh, so that you have to grind the enemy because the enemy is going to have almost no melee defense. The second kind of flanker is the one with a high charge bonus. They can be causing fear, they usually have high charge and not so good attack defense. and. The, this kind of flanker, you must use them uh, as a shock uh, unit and in first couple of seconds they are going to have charge bonus, going to kill a lot of units and hopefully you are going to route enemy very quickly. You cannot grind and wait like with the uh, more uh, like this kind of flanker, you have to be very shock, shock focused. So that's about the infantry. We have also chargers. Let's use this unit. It can be used as the charger. Uh, we have two kinds of charger. One is uh, just charge in and then run away. Uh, that one is also you can combine it with flanking. Uh, if you have no other units nearby to apply flanking, you can just go forward the YOLO charge and then because of your speed you run away. Light units can run away easily from heavy units. And the second kind of charger is that, let's say we are already fighting. Oh, I will show you with the Ftayan Spears. They can be very good swap chargers. Let's say I have the front line and the Tyan Spears are going to be our swap chargers. Even though they are heavy, uh, they are going to have quite okay charge. Uh, let's say the hold line is grinding for a time, for a minute or two. We are going to charge in and pull our front hold line back and this swap charging is supposed to help us uh, because they are going to deal damage kill a lot of models and af after that you will keep them fighting in the line. You are not going to run away like with the very fast chargers. So with, so with this uh, second kind of charger you are going to have uh, more variety than you expected. 
Now let's move to the missile variety. Uh, we have slings, archers, javelins, and you would think, yeah, that's almost the same thing. Uh, but yeah, there is a combat triangle here as well. Uh, the I, I call the slingers as the long range units. Uh, they have insane range. When you have a look, it's uh, up here. It's very far away. And they are able to skirmish other kinds of missiles. Because they are not dealing pierce damage, they are going to do well against lightly armored units like uh, these archers have just 45 and these only 20 so slings are going to be your anti-missile long range unit. With archers uh, they have usually the average uh, range and you can use them in both long range duels. Uh, the elite archers are going to have uh, about 180 something range so archers are a bit deadly they have more pierce damage so you are going to do nice damage against front lines from relatively safe distance and javelins are the most uh, different kind of missiles you are going to use them aggressively you have to use their speed uh, to comp to get into the range and when they get to the range which is uh, not so big they are going to deal tons of damage and plenty of kills they can kill any of these uh, missiles in one or on in few volleys uh, they are powerful but you have to use them as skin skirmishers not like a long range unit that is hiding behind your front line like this so you are going to use the fast skirmishers together with your flankers or chargers to help them so that's it now let's move to the other very important unit role which is the fodder you are going to use cheap unit uh, because they are going to stop enemy infantry you can flank around with them you can chase the enemy missiles they are cheap uh, many times expendable and you they are performing very well for their cost so they are essential for many army compositions and they are often underestimated because they are going to lose against almost every unit but they are going to give you a tactical advantage even such mid-tier units can be used as fodder for example these guys are good for eating some enemy missiles and holding some elite units now let's move to the cavalry uh, many people are thinking that uh, Troy is lacking cavalry, but it is quite opposite. Uh, we already have cavalry in this game, and uh, there are two kinds of cavalry. Centaurs or just horses and the chariots. Uh, let's talk about the cavalry itself. Their, their role is hypermobile flankers. Even though they have high charge bonus, uh, because of uh, how many models can be fighting at the same time, let's say that I'm flanking this unit with my cavalry and I will do a nice charge. Let's say I'm charging like this and let's count how many models are going to attack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 13. About 13 models are going to utilize their charge bonus to deal to to do attacks and deal damage. But instead, as a good flanker, you want to have fear, and rear charge will deal so much moral damage that they are going to rout enemies quickly. This is not your shock cavalry. 
and uh, Kentaurs and Cavalry is used as the super mobile flankers. Uh, but if you want shock cavalry, we have the chariots who are their own category, their own unit role. The more heavy chariot it is, the easier it is to go through enemy units. For example, this heavy chariot can easily decimate melee units uh, without a problem. But it is going to have a problem and against heavy units. So you are going to charge and move around with uh, your heavy chariots. They are dominant part of the combat triangle in Troy. So, uh, but I have to tell you, you shall use just melee chariots. Uh, the missile chariots are not not chargers, not shock uh, cavalry, and they are not so good in uh, miss missile uh, duels. If you really want uh, to use missile uh, missile mm -hmm, missile chariots, we have a very special unique role for this unit, and. The, the sole purpose of this unit is to be a very annoying destruction unit. They are going to shoot and run at fast speed. They are not going to deal a lot of damage, but they are going to uh, put enemy into wrong positions. So you have to... Let's move guys. You have to maneuver these and be very careful. Uh, that's their unique role and they are not going to do a lot of killing. Now we have giants. Giants are very important for the combat triangle because you can use chariots and even cavalry and be unstoppable. But the giants are so heavy enough to stop enemy chariot. Uh, they are able to not just stop it, but also kill enemy chariot. They do very well against cavalry. And these guys are going to be very good protectors of your, not just missiles. They can protect your uh, medium infantry as well. And one additional role for, for other medical units, not just giants, is uh, their ability to kill enemy hero. You can use your very strong hero or you can use giant champions. They are going to deal tons of damage to hero very efficiently, scare him away. So that's how to deal with uh, enemy hero. So, uh, I want to show you also the another army composition. Let's say we have a very strong hero who is very good at dueling. So we should use our hero or giant champions against him. For next we have uh, chargers or fodder. These guys uh, are just like our young spears but maybe more efficient. So we are not going to shoot them down and waste ammunition but we have to to be aware of them being flankers. Kentaurs, uh, we need to protect from these uh, scary flankers. They can use uh, heavy damage ja javelins. We should shoot them down or bring chariots into them. They ho also have a very solid hold line or very solid front line, defensive one. These guys will hold and fight for a very long time. Alternatively, they can bring very fearless uh, kill line. These guys are not going to round and they are going to deal a lot of damage. So, also another very strong swap charger and so on. And they have quite cheap but long range unit which is going to skirmish us. And that's just a very short example how many different unit rolls you can have already in one roster and similarly in another faction has can can have 
almost same. So, you that's pretty much it. I hope you now understand that there is a lot of deep uh, depth in the variety and that is very lasting. We have heavy units, we have medium units and we have light units. This is to show you that everything I have said can be multiplied by these three weight categories. We can have heavy flankers, we can have uh, medium chargers or light front lines and so on. And this weight very matters against chariots. And the best units are usually going to be medium units. They are going to kill your heavy front line, which is needed to stop or hold enemy chariots. And light units, you should already know, they are very fast, maneuverable, they are going to do very well, but you need to be quite careful with them. So, that is all. See you later.